Welcome to the 2011 Local Hero Awards in celebration of LGBT Pride Month. Our next honoree is Ed Decker. Join me in viewing his profile. My name is Ed Decker. I'm the founding artistic director of the New Conservatory Theater Center in San Francisco. The purpose of the New Conservatory Theater is to provide high quality entertainment promoting change through the theater arts. The Youth Aware Educational Theater program tackles a broad range of topics. HIV prevention education, anti-homophobia, anti-bullying, diversity, and cultural awareness and acceptance. All of the topics that we deal with in Youth Aware originates from the voices of the young people that will be in the audience. The experience of being in a high school auditorium with 400 teenagers where you could hear a pin drop is quite exceptional. If the characters are compelling and dealing with true-to-life challenges, it's a pretty powerful experience. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much. 30 years ago, when I still had hair, a handful of parents, some very determined young people, myself and another instructor, Sue Priolo, created the new Conservatory Theater Center. We were born from the need to establish a safe, nurturing space for young people to explore their imaginations and learn about the world through theater. We offered classes, produced family plays, and established a youth-aware educational touring company that focused on the many challenges of growing up. And today, these programs serve more than 20,000 young people each year in Northern and Central California. In the early 90s, we assumed the master lease for our tri-theater facility at 25NS near Market here in San Francisco. At the same time, we introduced our year-round lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, questioning, intersex, and allied, did I miss anyone? <laughs> Pride season for our adult audiences. You can imagine the firestorm that created. We immediately came under attack for having the audacity of hosting youth programming and queer programming under one roof. Some funding sources withdrew their underwriting immediately. But others, such as the James Irvine Foundation, the William, Ulett, William and Flora Hewlett Foundation, the Bob Ross Foundation, the Bothine Foundation, and the San Francisco Foundation, stood by us then and still stand by us today. These folks and many others had the courage to join us in what we recognize as our moment to shatter the myths about the coexistence of these populations. Together, we created a homophobic free environment that is a national model for young and old. San Francisco, ever at the vanguard. I would also like to take a moment to thank my mom, whose guidance and unconditional love is the foundation of my soul. I also thank my husband, Robert Leone, who after 25 years, and when you look at him, you can see why he still takes my breath away. Additionally, my thanks to the family that is the new Conservatory Theater Center, the artists, the technicians, the instructors, the staff, students, audiences, donors, and my board of directors, past and present. Tonight, my fellow honorees and I share this evening with all the dedicated nonprofit workers who serve the community tirelessly with great vision and dignity. So in closing, my thanks once again for recognizing my work and my colleagues' work at the new Conservatory Theater Center. And I wish all of you a very happy Pride Month.